Welcome back to this video course. In this video, you learn how to personalize your Instagram profile to attract prospects. Before I begin, let's go through what you'll learn by the end of this video. Techniques to personalize your Instagram feed creatively and tools to help you with that personalization. In your profile, you'd want to take care of the first impression that you create with your public audience as they're going through your Instagram feed. It's from your public audience where you get potential prospects who then find out more about your products or services and then turn into customers and give you sales. In real life, it takes seven seconds for a first impression to happen. It's pretty fast. Online, however, it only takes three seconds or less. So the first step in creating a great impression on your Instagram feed is to standardize your photo sizes. You can do this by selecting only one type of cropping. A feed with different sized cropped photos only makes your profile look messy and inconsistent. So take a look at these photos here. This is exactly what your prospect is going to see if you have a messy Instagram feed. And this is why standardizing your Instagram feed is such an important step to take. Also, you need to be careful with your consistency. Choose only one type of cropping. From the slide, there are two ways you can choose to post your photo, either by cropping it or leaving it the same size. Unless the intention is to upload full-sized landscape and portrait photos, and you don't want the photo to be cropped. In that case, use the No Crop app available on Google Play or the Apple App Store. The example shows two types of standardized Instagram feed. You can choose the one that best suits you. You can get really creative in creating an Instagram feed by uploading your photos in a grid style. What it means is that you crop a photo into multiple photos of the same size and post them one by one on your Instagram, as you see in the waterfall above. You can also integrate it into your marketing launch by adding a hint of mystery as you reveal your latest product using this method. It creates curiosity and encourages your audience to click through and find out more. It's best for you to stick with at most two sizes in your feed. The best grid sizes are maybe three by three or two by two. The example shows two different gridding sizes, which are three by two and two by two. Different gridding sizes communicate different design and feelings. Our top recommended app to use for creating a grid effect is called Instagrid. It's available for download on Google Play and the Apple App Store, and it's very simple to use. When you've downloaded the app, select the photo you want to grid, select the ideal size that you want to post, and then it automatically posts to Instagram. 